Hey, what's up guys? So today I'm going to do a video on how much my 35s weigh and I'm going to kind of compare them to uh, that's this tire, this wheel and tire here is from a 2011 um, Wrangler Sahara. It's the Sahara, so it's an 18 inch wheel. Then the tire, the tire is a 255-70R18. And then I'm also going to compare it to my stock 03 Cobra wheels, which these are 17 inch wheel. These are 275-40ZR17. And then of course the big ones, the 35 by 12 and a half by 15. So, and these are steel wheels. I believe this is aluminum and that's aluminum as well, I believe. So uh, we're just going to do just a little, little test to see how, what kind of weight difference, you know, even if you guys are looking for, if you have a newer Wrangler that comes with the stock wheels and tires, so you can kind of see the difference between the tire weights. So, and I'm also going to measure so I can see, you know, so how they do 35s is sometimes they're not actually 35 inches tall. So I got a tape here. I'm just going to set it up against the scale here so it doesn't roll away. All right. So if you look at the tape here, it's about a 34. It looks like, let's see if I can get this up a little higher. You guys probably can't, it's probably too washed out, but it's roughly 34 and a half, 34 and five eighths depending on how you look, how you look, look at it. Um, so, you know, not quite 35. That's kind of how they work is they say they're 35, but they're not quite exactly 35 inches on um, that's mounted obviously and not with, doesn't have pressure on it either. So I suppose we can measure this. Let's see with pressure from the ground. Yeah, it's like 34 and an eighth roughly. Um, all right. So we're not going to start with the 35. All right, so we'll start with the Cobra wheel. This is gonna be difficult with the 35, but. All right, so we got 55 pounds. I'm gonna take that off again, try it again. Fifty-one, fifty-two. It's around fifty-two pounds, and obviously this isn't the most accurate scale in the world. So, I guess you could give or take a couple pounds. All right, so fifty-two. Remember that. <coughs> Let's go with the twenty eleven Wrangler Sahara wheel and tire. Let's get my jeans all dirty, but. <coughs> So we got 73 pounds. All right. And this wheel, I'll measure the height of this wheel for you guys. This one's roughly a 30, looks like 31 and three quarter. <clears throat> All right. So now, now under the 35. This guy just wants to tip over. Such a skinny here. I'll show you the difference too. Look at the, just how skinny this is compared to the 35. I'll measure this. So the width is roughly 10 on this. This is roughly 12 and a half, 13. So a lot, lot, lot wider. Even It's even wider than the Cobra tire. The Cobra tire is a 275. Let's see how wide. The, I got wider ones on the Cobra now. I got 315s, but let's see how wide this one is. Yeah, this one's roughly a 11. So, all right, all right. This one's gonna be the the hard one. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't break the scale. It's glass too, you know. All right, let's see if you can lift this up one-handed. This looks like you get 108.5. I'm going to lift it off and try it again. One oh two, one oh three. 
Yeah, not super accurate here. Try it again. 103. Wow. So a lot heavier. And these are steel wheels too. So that it also will contribute to the weight. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video. I always kind of wondered how much these actually weigh. So that's why that's why I want to upgrade my my front tie rod. It's because I have a, you have a lot more weight being rotated around and when you're turning hitting bumps you know it's just you have just a massive amount of weight you know over stock you know obviously even you know that's even the Sahara wheel is even a big wheel compared to the stock 15s that came on here so yeah so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up if you didn't a thumbs down uh, consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in the next video